this here, see how this skin looks a certain way? And then this skin looks a certain way? So basically the transition is like this, right? And then that transition extends and travels to about here. And it actually would come around here. And it would be like there. So what's happening is that this, there's a lot of cellulite in this area, right? So there's a bunch of dimples here that are cellulitic. And wherever the dimples are, it causes flatness in the tissue. So what we have to do is we have to shave this down a little bit. We have to really add a lot of fat here to improve that. Shave that down. Expand this, add volume there. Get this to come out here, like this. And it's hard when you have this type of tissue um, morphology or shape. I hope that helps. I know there's someone out there watching this who may have a similar body type, so that's the point of why we do this, to educate. The more informed you are, the better it is. Our right, patient's 48 years old, notable point. She's a weight loss patient, uh, previous tummy tuck, and she has some anatomy that's uh, interesting that I'll explain a little bit later, which makes the case a little bit more challenging. We're going to be doing our 360 fat trans. Remember, not all patients are the same. Everyone has different anatomy, specifically different bony shape, muscles, and skin, and all these play a role in the final outcome. All right, weight loss patient, we're gonna do our 360, bring this in. She has interesting anatomy, I'll point out to you later, but uh, there's a lot of contouring involved where we have to bring in the hip roll and then expand the thigh. 360 fat transfer, I'm gonna point out some of the anatomic challenges. One, there's a lot of cellulite, which makes it harder to expand. Two, the lower back skin goes to the halfway point of the buttock. Three, there's loose skin. We're gonna get around these things, but we're gonna lipo from here to here, expand the buttock, and build up the thigh. 360 fat transfer, so some important things, right? I had to basically blend in the anatomy because there was a transition zone, expand the buttock as much as I can, which is difficult with cellulite, built up the hips. This is just loose skin. She's a weight loss patient. She has stretch marks. If you have loose skin before, you will have loose skin after. But you can see, totally cleaned out the fat, very, very thin pinch. So she's going to get an amazing shape, but there's still going to be some loose skin. So we brought in the waist as much as can be, got it down, really, really thin pinch, expanded the thighs. There's always going to be loose skin if you're a weight loss patient, but it's minor. So again, great shape, improved contour. All right, so we did a 360 fat transfer, some pearls. Uh, weight loss patients are always going to have loose skin. If you have it before, you'll have it after. There was some anatomy we're going to go over and show you how these areas are corrected. Uh, you don't get full correction when you have cellulite, but sometimes there could be improvement. But if you're watching this and you're thinking about if you have cellulite, just think if I have cellulite before, I will have cellulite after. Wherever there is cellulite on the buttock, it causes flatness. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, drop us a comment, give us a like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.